Hello everyone, welcome to the Packet Tracer Activity 15.2.2 from CCM Beyond Core Course from Cisco. This, this activity is about configuring NAT for IB version 4 and of course also for uh, PAT. So what we have here, we have um, the address, addressing table and here we have the objectives. First we are going to configure a dynamic NAT with PAT and then we are going to configure static NAT. In the scenario or as the background, okay, in this lab you will configure a router with dynamic NAT with PAT. This will translate addresses from the three internal LANs to a single outside address. Okay, and then in addition you will configure static NAT to translate an internal server address to an output or outside address. As an instruction first, we are going to name or create an active control list, access control list to permit the addressing from LAN 1, LAN 2, and LAN 3 to be translated. Specify the LAN in this order, use the name R2 NAT, the name you have the match because it's case sensitive. Okay, so let's do this. Of course, here we have this router here in the center, so we are going to work on this router. Actually, it's also specified here in this activity, you will only configure router 2. Okay, so enable and then configure terminal and then we are going to create an access control list and then IP access list and the name, of course, we need a standard also and the name is R2 not okay and then we need to permit the three lines so which is this one this one and then this one okay so to do this we are going to permit and then the network address of the LAN 192.168.10.0 and this is about this one, as you can see here. And of course, we need the wildcard 000255 in this case. We need also to permit the second one, which is this one. So the network address is 20. And also, we need to permit the third one, which is the third LAN here. Okay, so we have done with this. Okay, then next we need to create an add pool named R2 pool. This pool should use the first address from the 209, 2, As you can see here, this one here. So what we are going to do, of course, we need to create first the NAT. So as you can see here, we have the pool this with this command, IP not pool, and then the name of the pool, and then the branch of the IP addresses. Since here we need only one, the first one from this one, IP addresses, so it's going to be, since it's 128, so the first one which is usable is 129. Okay, and then we give the range of the IP addresses. Since here we have only this IP address, so we don't need to put more, and that's it. 
Okay, so need also we need also to configure NAT with access control list and NAT pool that you have created. Okay, so here in this case we need to make a connection between the name of the access control list and of the pool we have just created. So to do this we first type IP NAT. Of course we need inside source list and then the name of the list and then the name of the pool and then overload okay so this is first one and then we need also configure static NAT to map a local PK server inside address to the second address from this range. Okay, so let's see, this is the local. Let's see its IP address, this one here. So to do this, we are typing IP NAT and then inside again, then source, and then we need to specify that this is a static and then we give the IP address 192.168.20. 254 and for the IP address 209-168-202-130 okay because we already used the first one which was the 129 so now we have the 130 and then we need to configure the interfaces that will participate in the NAT now what we have here as you can see we have a router r2 with four interfaces for the first one which is like fast ethernet 00, 0 this one here is going to be inside for the serial 00, 0 also this is also inside and this is also inside and here we have this one is outside because here are the lans the three lans lan 1 2 3 so there, these three interfaces go, are going to be inside and this one is going to be outside. Okay, so interface gigabit Ethernet 00. zero. Okay, as you can see here, interface fast zero, zero, zero. Okay, so let's check show IP interface brief. We have fast Ethernet 00, we have also serial 0001, and so we have this interface here. Let's take it here and then configure terminal and then interface. And this one is going to be IP not inside. Okay, what we have here, interface 0, 0, 0, again IP not inside, IP not inside, sorry, and then we have also 0, 1, which is also IP not inside, and we have also 1, which is this one, and it's going to be outside okay so let's check what we need to do more as you see now my completion is 100 so that's all to recap we have freelance we defined first uh, a pool, um, a NAT access control list and then we permit or we allow these three lines to be in this list and then we create a pool and the pool started with this with the first IB address from this one which is 128 
So the first one is going to be 129 according um, as in sequence. And then we name the pool. And then we assigned the pool to be like, we made the connection between the, the pool and the access control list we just created. And then we typed overload. And this is overload is about for like paths. Okay, and then we assign static IP address for the server. And then we um, managed or configured the interfaces and the router to be inside or outside. So that's all for this activity. Thank you and see you in the next video.